Hey there, we're taking a look at Halo 4 running on the i5 1135G7. Now this is currently running at 1080p with the lowest settings, which is the performance preset. And it actually ran really great. The 1% lows are kind of low, but it's not too noticeable when you're playing the game. The performance itself is actually very decent and you can get away with playing the game like this perfectly fine. This is pretty much going to get you the maximum amount of FPS that you can get on here. That's probably how I would play the game. That being said, if you do care about the visuals, you can turn things up to original and expect a, a relatively similar experience. There are going to be a little bit more noticeable dips here and there, but it is going to be a relatively similar experience for a slightly better visual experience if that matters to you. Overall, neither of the two settings really feel like they're going to hold you back. So if you just want to maximize the visuals, you can go with the original settings. If you want to maximize performance, performance mode is there to get you the most amount of FPS possible and to give you a little bit more of a consistent experience overall. And of course, both of these presets allow you to keep the resolution at 1080p, not having to drop down to 720p, which is always great to see with this chip. We've definitely seen it struggle to get playable FPS in other games where it should, in theory, be able to get us at least playable experience like this, but you'd be surprised what just doesn't run on here. So I'm really glad to see Halo 4 actually able to run on at the full 1080p resolution. If you want the best possible visuals though, then you can set it to the enhanced settings. Just expect to have a more console-like experience on here where you're going to have a lot of fluctuation in the FPS and it's really going to be more in the 40, 50 range with a lot of dips to below 30. Although noticeably the 1% lows are slightly better on here. Not 100% sure actually why it is like that, but it, it is a relatively consistent thing. So again, you're going to get a very console-like experience here where it's going to be a relatively consistent experience, but it's not going to be a high FPS one. So really any setting is going to be kind of playable. Personally, I would stick with the lower ones anyway, just because you were hitting consistently higher FPS. And the 1% lows were really just dipping down in areas where things loaded. And I don't think that that really matters too much. While here, I think it really only showed like higher 1% lows. And it might just be because of the, the different things that were going on. But overall, they all felt like a very consistent experience. It's both funny and sad that this runs better than Halo 2 did. You know, like this is this is playable while Halo 2 is just a complete disaster. And that's just unfortunate. 